Yo, yo, what is going on, guys? It's the DFS Shark. We are back with another day of some NBA hoops. It is now March 9th, and we got a nice seven game slate today. There is an early game popping off also, so be aware of that if you're catching this video later in the day. But as always, if y'all watch these videos, y'all like these breakdowns, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can see these breakdowns as soon as they drop because these lines do get bumped and removed all the time as you'll see in my videos as I'm going through them myself. Um, and if you want all my free plays even sooner, I'm dropping them all in the Discord. Like the plays I'm about to go over in this video, I've already dropped in the Discord. The link will be in the description for that. Um, but we cashed our free play yesterday again. That's two winning nights in a row cashing the free play. That's three out of our last four, putting us on a seven and one run. So these free plays have been crushing it. I'm gonna go over the play here in a bit and what the rest of the premium plays did in the Discord. But before we do that, if you are new to prize picks, you never played before, there is a promo code right here. Drop that promo code in at sign up, and they're going to hook you up with the 100% match deposit bonus. And also, if you want to, you know, diversify, if you want to have more options, more discounts, you definitely want to get Chalkboard. They're only on Apple at the moment, but they're coming to Droid very soon. But drop in that code SHARK, and they're going to hook you up. They have more discounts than any other sites at the moment and they're giving three to four discounts a day a lot of anchor lines discounted lines and they give away a lot of free squares as well where you just need like somebody like kevin durant to get one point right so the more books you're on the better because the more discounts you're gonna be able to take advantage of but drop that code in shark and they're gonna hook you up right but let me go over yesterday's play so this was yesterday's play man we hit here we had ochua and we had capella and they both hit for us man Chua crushed that line, man. He had that early in the third. Capella hit it probably midway through the fourth. Um, but yeah, man, that, this was a play. I really like this play. That line was set so low for Achua for some reason, man. I feel like that line, like when I was looking at it, I knew it should have been like eight or nine. Um, so I was making sure I wasn't missing something. But no, he ended up crushing that line. Capella here. This was the other play we had. So this was just in the premium. Right, but we swept prize picks last night. We only had two plays. We had our Flex Friday lineup, which got, it didn't do well, to be honest. It was a five-man slip. It didn't do well, but we got refunded there, so it's not a loss. Um, but we hit here on Kuzma and Benchero. They both went over their lines there as well, cashing us out on prize picks. And let me just jump into the Discord if you want to see um, exactly what I'm talking about, right? So in the Discord every day, you go here there's my free play section right i've already posted this plays i'm about to go over i posted a chalkboard slip last night as well um, but if you want to take things further um there's a premium play and i drop all of my plays in here as well and i give full recaps this was last night's recap right and i'm always transparent with my wins and losses every day as well so you know you're getting that when you join this premium yesterday an underdog man we lost we went over two it happens i don't shy away from losses you can see prize picks here we swept our flex friday lineup got fully refunded and chalkboard we ended up hitting one out of three so we salvaged our losses a little bit there but yeah that's how it went in the premium yesterday um but you can see here on prize picks man we've won eight of our last 11 nights now um we've been heating up on prize picks all month so we've been crushing it there so the discord's free if you just want to get in here and get the free plays and jump in the chat zone as well go ahead and do that but like i said if you want to take things further if you're in the discord you can go to join premium here or if you just go to the link in my description you'll see my website here the dfsshark.com and then you can kind of get some more info you can see everybody that's been cashing in the premium and also some reviews if you want to check those out um but yeah that's going to be the spot let's jump into the plays of the day right i'm going to give you my top two plays and then i got three other plays that i have on my radar at the moment that i'm not playing yet um i could possibly later on in the day but if you just want to throw have some more options or have a five-man slip um so hopefully these don't get bumped because these are really strong lines i was liking these when i was looking at them points and rebounds right this one really stood out to me um last night and then when i woke up this morning it was still there caldwell pope over 12 and a half points and rebounds you can see lately he's been playing really well over his last five he's hit this line every single game i'm um, even at a 20 here um they're playing the jazz we'll get let's get into the script and kind of just go over the flow of this game first so where are they at so 229 right so they're about middle of the road like i said if you're in the 220s you're about middle pace um below that you're going to be a low scoring game if you're above um like 
235, 240 is going to be a high scoring game. So they're right in the middle. Um, but let's dive in at Caldwell Pope, right? So you can see his last five, he's absolutely crushed this line every single game, right? He The reason I like the rebounds is too is because he can usually get two to three rebounds a game. Right? He got two all these games, and then his last couple, he got five and then three rebounds here. So if he has an off night for some reason, like right here, he had 11 points. He ended up getting five rebounds. So you can see he's hit this line every single game except these two by just points, um, by just points. So he got hit by the hook here, but the rebound saved him here. So that's why I'm liking this play. Last 10, you can see he's been heating up 80% over his last 10, his last 20, 75%. So he's been consistently crushing this line. If you go to head-to-head, -to -head, this was in January. He had 13 here. And then in October, he had about 11. So he's right there um, either way. And so another reason I'm liking this play is first, there's a couple of things actually. So um, points allowed Utah's 25th in the league, letting up 120 points a game. So they're giving up a bunch of points. If you slide over to shooting guard, they're 13th and 15th ranks. But a, a big reason why I'm liking this play is um, Joe Kick is a game time decision. Now, Joe Kick most likely is going to end up playing, and Pope did all this without Joe Kick in there. But the bump we're going to get if Joe Kick gets removed or doesn't play, or if, isn't, if he isn't at 100%, then we're getting a big boost with Pope, right? His, I'm sure his line would jump up probably to um, 13 and a half to 14 if Joe Kick doesn't play. So it's just an additional bonus, a huge bonus if we can get that to happen. Right, but Caldwell Pope's gonna be my play here. You can see he's been playing heavy minutes lately, over 34 minutes a game in his last, was his last five games he's played, he's averaged 34 minutes a game. And you can see here, he's hit this line seven of his last, last eight games at home, averaging 14.2. So well above this line. Um, let's see what the odds makers have. DraftKings minus 125, BetMGM minus 125, Caesars minus 133. So all the odds makers like this to go over as well. Codwell Pope, we're gonna be locking this one in. And if we slide over here to Rotowire, let's see what they have. They have him at 11.7 plus 2.9 points. They got him at about 14.6 um, projected points on Pope. So everything's lining up for this one to be a solid play for us. Codwell Pope, that's gonna be my number one play. Number two, we're going to be locking in Kevin Durant here. Let's see if we can find it. Usually at the bottom, points and rebounds. So points and rebounds, we're going to be going over 10 and a half here. So that's another play I'm liking on Durant. You can see his last five, he's hit this at 60% of the time. His last 10, 70%. Last 20, 75%. For the year, 63%. So he's been consistently hitting this line all season. Durant can really get some rebounds. You can see seven, nine, eight, uh, couple of off games here some bad games but this is a play i'm liking um and we go to boston first let's go to the script here i forgot to look at this so plus six minus six right so it's a pretty close spread um could be a blowout over 226 so it's not going to be the highest scoring game um, but durant should be able to rack up enough rebounds and assist here if we go to small forward you can see they're 20th in the league and then their top 10 on assists allowed. But same thing with this, man. Another reason why I'm liking this game is Devin Booker is a game time decision here. All right, so there's a chance he doesn't play as well. And so when you're playing overs, that is something to look at. Players that are game time decisions. Um, if one of them doesn't play, everybody else in that team gets a big boost. And for Durant, he's getting a huge boost if Booker doesn't play because Booker takes so many shots, right? And Booker's always on the court playing heavy minutes so that's going to open it up to a lot more Durant's going to have to be more involved in the offense offensively and defensively right so something to consider here um, this is a play I'm liking you can see Durant has hit this line 10 of his last 13 games averaging 12 assists and rebounds a game so a whole point and a half over what his line is set at let's look at the odds of makers we got FanDuel minus 122 DraftKings minus 125 Ben MGM minus 125 and we got Caesars all the way at minus 137 so odds are in our favor here as well with this one let's slot in let's see what um, what Rotowire has this one at so they have it at about 12.3 so they have them going over this line as well 
by a whole point, almost two points. Rotowire has him projected to go over this line. So Kevin Durant, we're going to be locking this one in. He's going to be my two plays, man. This is what I'm rolling with. Like I said, we've been hot on prize picks lately. We've been cashing on our free plays. We've been cashing in the premium as well. But if you want three additional plays that are on my radar at the moment, that could be plays later, depending on, the, depending on what happens throughout the day. All right, one play I'm liking is Porzingis over rebounds and assists over eight and a half. Where is that? Rebounds and assists over eight and a half. You can see here. This is the play I'm liking. Porzingis. He's gone over three of his last five playing Phoenix. Um, you can see, if you saw in that last slide, Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum are both questionable as well. Game time decisions. So Porzingis gets a huge bump if either of them is out. So good play there. Another play I'm liking is Gary Trent Jr. Over 20 and a half PRA. Um, no Scotty Barnes here. So he's going to get an increased workload. You can see last game without Scotty Barnes. He put up 33 here, so he's going to be a lot more involved in the office. offense. They're playing a weak Portland defense. I don't think Gary Trent Jr. will have no points scoring this game. This all comes down to if he can be efficient with this scoring. And then Kay Cunningham, we're going over 34 and a half PRA here. Playing Dallas this is going to be a high, high scoring game. Um, the pace of play for both of these teams they're ranked like 7th and 8th, so there's going to be a lot of points scored here, right? And you can see his last couple of games, he's went off for 35 and 48 on his PRA. Okay, Cunningham has got a lot of upside. You're going to have to match those points being scored to have a chance to win this one. Um, so there's going to be a lot of points scored there. But these are going to be my top five plays, man. These are going to be the plays that I am liking today. Make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe and also join the discord the link is going to be in the description join the discord so you can get these plays free as soon as i drop them and i'm also keeping you updated if there's any discounts throughout the day um, on any of these sites right i'll post them in there so you can see them because i'm always on them i have notifications set um and i'm on these discounts as soon as the second they drop i'm on every single discount and then i'm working on putting lines together for those because that's where you can make majority of your money and build your bank grows with discounted lines but yeah make sure you put that notification bell on so you can be alerted and also go check out my video last night i dropped on chalkboard i got a two-man bank row builder play a solid play that i'm liking um it's already in the discord as well i posted that one last night um but after this video ends you'll see the link to guide you to that video go check that video out it's a little bit quicker it's like a five or six minute video um, but I got two solid plays there. High odds, less payout, but I'm liking that one a lot as well. That's going to be it for this video, guys. We are on the hunt for 2,000 subscribers. We should be hitting 1,800 today. So I appreciate everyone that's been rocking with me as I'm growing this channel and supporting me by commenting, liking, joining the Discord, getting these dubs together. The goal of this channel is for us to beat these books together. That's the main goal here. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Y'all have a great rest of the day. Enjoy your Saturday. Take care.